Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the falling brick stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a very quick stitch to work up. It's a very open, lacy stitch, as you can see here. It's a similar or the same on both sides, uh, so it's great for those open work projects. It does have a fair bit of stretch to it as well in both directions because of the laziness of it. Today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a little bit of worsted weight cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand as well as a 5 millimeter crochet hook. Links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, say hello down in the comments. Let me know how you would use this stitch in a project. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and check out the other stitch tutorial videos here. This channel is updated every Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. For your foundation chain today, you're going to need a total of 10 plus uh, multiples of 10 plus 6 stitches. So today I'm going to chain a total of 26. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working one triple stitch into the fifth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, and five in, yarn over twice, and into that fifth chain work your first triple. You're then going to work one triple stitch in each of the next four chains. Next, you're going to skip the next four chains and into the next chain work one triple stitch. Chain four and work one triple in each of the next five chains. Skip the next four stitches and into your next stitch work one triple stitch. You're then going to chain four when you come to the end of your row and work a triple stitch into your final chain. That brings you to the end of your row one. You're then going to, for row two, chain four and turn your work. To start row two, we're going to work a five triple into the first chain four space. So you're just working it directly into that space, not into the chains themselves. Work five triple stitches. Skip 
skip the next five triple stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. Into this next stitch, work one triple. chain four and into your next chain four space work five triple stitches. You're going to repeat this all the way across. When you come to the end of your row, you're going to skip the next five triple stitches, triple into your next stitch, chain four, and work one triple stitch into the top of your starting chain four. That brings you to the end of your row two. Chain four and turn your work. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat that row two. So starting with your five triples into the chain four space. Skip the next five triple stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Triple into your next stitch. Chain four. And work five triples into your next chain four space. Repeat that all the way across. To your final set, skip the next five triples, triple into the next stitch, chain four, and triple into the top of your starting chain four. Chain four, turn your work, and repeat. That's all there is. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.